Welcome to the first NASCAR Thunder 2004 video on this channel. Now I know I said that I'm gonna make a mini series out of this, and by that I mean I'll be doing career mode. But the purpose of today's video is to basically get all my frustrations and hostilities out towards the AIs before I have to actually focus and perform well to earn money in the career mode. Unlike most NASCAR games, especially the ones I've played on this channel, this game actually punishes you for sucking. For example, if you try to hail the melon in this game, you go slower. If you try to run into people to try to corner, you end up earning rivals, which will make your life miserable. Most of the times when I'm playing these NASCAR games and doing stupid stuff, I'll be totally honest, a lot of that is because I'm recording it. I'm doing the stupid things to try to, you know, make the event more entertaining. I mean, if you're gonna play one of these games like a saint, typically nothing entertaining happens. So that's why I kinda, you know, push things to the limit, so to speak. But once I get to the career mode of this game, I'm gonna have to actually drive somewhat conservative, drive smart, which I don't usually do. But that's not why we're here today. In this video, you're gonna see a lot of things like this. Yes! As you can tell, the purpose of this video is so that I can show off some of the stuff I'm not going to be able to do in career mode, such as race against legends and do really stupid stuff. And in tribute to Ryan Newman's return this weekend at Darlington, we're going with the 12 car. Oh yeah. That was a maximum talent moment. Still got the pull. It's time for some real excitement. NASCAR Winston Cup racing under the lights from the granddaddy of them all, the Darlington Raceway. Barney, drivers love coming to Darlington because of its history, but they often leave wishing they hadn't shown up. Why's that? Well, we'll see a lot of drivers run right up against the wall here all race long. That makes you fast, but it can also be very costly when you make even the slightest mistake. It always seems that Ryan Newman is starting up near the front of the pack. With nine front row starts in 2002, he's always a threat to get the pole. I'm telling you, this old EA Sports style, it'll probably never be replicated, but I desperately want it to be. To make things interesting, I'm letting everybody by me. I'm going to drive back through him. The pole was just a flex to prove that I'm better than everybody else, but now I have to prove it even more. All right, I caught back up. We got both Hooters cars back here. Kawiki and Bodine. Oh, yeah, apron driving. The only fault, really, with the way these old EA Sports games drive is that you'll basically never make a pass up on the outside line. In fact, the only track that I can name where the outside line is competitive in any of the EA Sports games is IRP. It's somewhat doable at Atlanta. As you can tell, everybody just screwed up on exit and I managed to pass about half the field. In Chase for the Cup, Atlanta is somewhat drivable. Okay, Atlanta is somewhat drivable using the outside line, but IRP is realistically a top side racetrack. But most of the time you're bottom feeding, so much so to where if you can get the car to run on the apron at Darlington, you're actually a little better. Oh God, Craven! And right here, just to prove a point about the apron stuff, I got the car to pivot in the center, and look at how much time I just gained on Kenny Wallace right there by doing the most awkward diamonding that Darlington has ever seen. Oh, maybe, maybe I'm gonna make a fool out of myself. You can pass on the outside. You're you almost end up killing yourself, but it's it's kind of doable. Also, unless you're a really good ally with another driver, they will block you all over the place. For example, I'm all the Oh, geez, Matt Kenseth? What are you doing? Really got to float the car into turn three right there. This thing really hustles in one and two, but three and four, it kind of dies. That's why I'm doing the whole diamonding. And look at Kurt Busch right here. There's some of the blocking I was talking about. Oh yeah, that's wall riding. Oh yeah. Using up those tires. I really have been abusing this rubber. Right, there's the only ally I have on the racetrack up in front of me. That's Rusty Wallace. 
this thing is snappy. I'm, I'm going to try to share draft with Rusty. I have to be a 100% ally with my teammate. By the way, imagine two drivers trying to draft race at Darlington. Here's the challenge now. I'm a 100% ally with Rusty. But how do I pass him without screwing up and running into him? Okay, it was risky. But I've done it. See right there, I just caught Dale Jr. off guard right there by jumping onto the apron. That's the type of stuff you have to do with these AIs when they try to block all up and down the racetrack. Somebody blowing up down there. Is that Mark Martin? Couldn't quite tell. After deciding to make myself start in last, I think having a four-second advantage now is a pretty good flex. It won't look like this in career mode, let me tell you. It will not look this pretty. Oh. Yep. Yeah, that was nice. That did not work out as good as I wanted at all. All right, so they're going to short pit me. And my fuel tank's almost empty. I might even run out this lap. Got to try not to wreck it. And I survived. Was that the tire pressures I was running? Jeez. Now I understand why my tire wear was so serious. I made about 25 laps. This car looks like it has survived 500 at Martinsville. That's the type of stuff I can't get away with in career mode. Oh, but the sweet sensation of grip. It is back. Whoa. Ward was coming down pit road, and there's a dispute. Kevin LePage got into Dale Earnhardt. He is the leader. Okay, then. I need to quickly pass him just in case we get a caution. Yeah, that'll, that'll melt the tires pretty quick. There we go. I'm back in the lead. And now Dale Jr. is back in second. Oh, somebody blowing up down there. It's BP. Okay. All right. Going to have to back this up. Go like this. You've earned a little bit of a dooring. Just a little bit. I'm about to lap Matt Kenseth and Jimmy Johnson. There we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. Short. You know, that reminds me of a mistake Jimmy Johnson made here once. We gotta go. Pace car's about to lap us. What do you mean pace car's about to lap us? I'm the leader. Richard Petty gets off pit road in front of me. Same with Rusty. Jimmy Johnson. Oh, he's going to be fun to pass. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. That's one way of sneaking by Richard Petty. Oh, I got a stupid idea. I got a really stupid idea. I'm going to make Jimmy Johnson my friend. And I got to go before Richard Petty passes me. See ya, Jimmy. Ooh. I don't know what just made that noise, but it happened before I hit the wall. All right, here we go. Last lap. I put a pretty good advantage above that 43 car. 4.8 seconds. All right, there we go. Win it. Night, Darlington. That was a nice piece of driving. Let's see, how much celebration can I get away with before the car ends up just breaking? There we go. You know, recently I uh, was playing through Red Dead Redemption 2, Don't bang it up too and this scenery is giving me flashbacks. You know, I just noticed that this race is called the Tumbleweed 300. Welcome to Tumbleweed, son. I just realized I, I changed lanes before we got to the start-finish line. That's a big no-no. Hey, look at that. I did not wreck. Yep. 
Yep, that was it. Now I'm gonna do something stupid. Oh no! Look at this guy's smug face. Wow. Wow, I am sucking. And you know what? Because I'm off strategy, not going to pit this time. You see, I'm a genius. And I just caused my own debris caution. Finally got him. And he flipped! See, that's how you get him. Okay. Alright. Alright, then. we I've made my bed now. Robbie Gordon wins. That makes up for it. Let's try that again. Mm-hmm. You know, just... Yeah. Sure. Okay. I did that just to annoy him. There we go, that was a good way of dealing with Stewart. Okay, Tony. I am the last person you'd want to do that to. The absolute last person. Turn one's a nice passing zone. Beyond that, I have not figured out any of the other corners. Yeah, yeah, that was barely survived. Well, you're not gonna believe the game just crashed. This track is surprisingly difficult to pass at. Not when you set it up correctly, though. Look at that! And then immediately go and screw it in the next corner. Ooh, up the outside. Risky. Throw a rival in there. Number 38 made some contact. We're okay. The 38 car is still there. Keep digging. I'm going to blame that on Elliot Sadler. Okay. Everyone's dead. <laughs> See, I saw it coming, so I turned into it. That was stupid. There you go. Oh, we got somebody blown up. It's Bobby. Oh! Good job there, buddy. Yeah, I suck. I really suck at this. Finally, starting to figure out exactly where to like position the car, though, to make passes. There we go. Ho ho ho! Yep. See what happens when you actually start to like pay attention. I am really good at making people upset. Okay, Bobby, don't forget now. You're the lap car. Okay. And you're my teammate, so both of you sit back. Alright, screw it. I'm making my pit stop this time by... Well, we got somebody blowing up. That might screw me. Where are you? Right where I need to be. Thanks, Jamie. Now I'm going to leave debris. Yep, there's a caution for, I guess, something unrelated. Oh, Yarborough. Got in trouble from something. McMurray, I guess, blowing up, screwed him over, too. Oh, that was a nice camera angle. Thank you, EA. All right, got some cars to pass here. Restart in 10th. And I'm probably going to lose my hood. Yep, there it was. And the race is over. 
Oh my god. Okay, that was genius. It was not very controlled, but it happened. Top to bottom. And there we go. Oh my god. And 22 seconds almost. And I get held up on pit road. Checking all the boxes. All right, Ricky Rudd comes down pit road. You can see him right there. And I'm now the leader. 28 second advantage. All right, that took way too long for me to pull off. Going off just how much faster I am than the AIs, but whatever. It's done. What's... Wait, is... What is this glitch? That surprised me so much, I forgot to celebrate. Let's go to Dockside next. Yikes, careful, buddy. All clear, buddy. See that right there? See that? Oh! -ho! I don't know what we're doing. We're dying is what we're doing. Jeez, Elmo. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I just wrecked myself. And I destroyed myself. Okay. I'm just keeping my foot in it. Up to 18. <laughs> Johnny, that ain't gonna work out in your favor. Okay. I know you're upset. But trust me, that ain't gonna work out for you. Hey, Jeff Gordon's upset. Yeah, I'm really rolling the momentum now. Richard Petty just went to the grass to block me. And he isn't even a rival. There we go. That's a maritime. Okay, Mark Martin. Oh, we've got a car blown up. Bobby Allison. There we go, drifting. Yeah, I knew I couldn't drift for as long as I wanted without screwing it. However, out of my own incompetence, I've now ended the race. Because I'm the leader, well, I've won. It is still a win. Gotta go to Sawmill, right? Well, they're just giving me all the spots, aren't they? I mean, sure, I would have got a massive start violation, but I'm up 24th, and that was one straightaway. Oh, yep. It's not a big deal. It'll buff out. Watch it. Whoa! Ball. Hang on. I got it. There we go. Imagine a modern game studio having the creativity to make a track like this and put it in a NASCAR game. There's no way that they would ever even consider it, let alone actually do it. And by the way, look at this. Look at this restart speed. Hey, Bobby. Bobby. I'm not going to sign you to a KHI Bush Series ride in a couple years. 
Oh, somebody flipping. Who is that? On their side. Kenny Wallace. I'm sorry, I, Dale. I was rubbernecking. There you go. Look at that. Only Kenny Wallace could pull something off like this. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, oh, 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 oh. I didn't even notice the car was getting loose, let alone spinning. And of course, Jelly Leg over here. Ooh, caution. Debris from someone in front of us, I think. Let's see who we got that caution flag for. Bobby, of course. Jeremy? Jeremy! And there's the end of the race. Okay. Michael Waltrip wins on a road course. All right, up into the top 10. Wrecking. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Oh, wow. C's really parted. Okay, Bill. All right. Really don't like... Whoa! Jeez, Steve Park back there just destroying Kurt Busch. But I really don't like how the AIs seem to just lift in random areas. These Evernham cars. These Evernham cars are a serious problem. I guess a little respect pays off. He's not blocking like usual. He's not blocking like usual. That's a good way to describe Robbie Gordon. All the caution was from me. What happened? Nothing fell off the car. I don't... I don't really understand. Whoa, I'm the first one off pit road? I am really appreciative of this pit crew. Because if we would have lost spots, I would have gone and wrecked. But they've gifted me the lead. And... Dale Earnhardt just sailed it off in there a lot deeper than I thought you could. I guess he just gave me the spot back. Okay. Turns out, if you touch the grass there, you cause a caution. That's cool. That means I can end the race early on purpose without having to wreck myself. Turns out there's a caution light switch hidden underneath the grass there. You can trip it. There we go. That's runoff, right? That's just that's just paint. That's not grass. There we go. There's a white flag. And you know what? I think I want to take the checkered and the yellow at the same time. So hang on. I couldn't cause a caution that time. Was it luck? Sawmill victory. That's a win. Awesome win, buddy. You know, if I'm in the pace car, who's driving that one? There we go, that was a nice run. Hey, a bit of a net gain. Okay. All right, sure. 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 Oh. Nice. Had to go for it. Maybe don't even lift. Or just lift a little. There we go. I just clean Craven out. That's a textbook pass there. Good job. The 01 car makes some contact. Check it out. The 43 and 21 cars. 1 2. 
How symbolic. They're about to be ran over by the pace car. And that was easy enough. Now I just have to not wreck. All right. Nice. Look at that. The U1 thing worked. It's party time. Features of the game are working as expected. A wide track Pontiac Grand Prix pace car. Best thing in the field. Indestructible. Look at this sorry excuse for a road course right here. Is this the original Miami GP circuit? What's going on? You okay? Oh yeah. Way to get ready, okay, I like turn one. Okay. All right. Oh yes. That's a nice amount of carnage right there. There we go. Yeah, just get in there. Everybody pile in. All right, how low do you go? Let's see if I can dive in a second time around. I should have known that was going to happen. Okay, Tony, just go away. It's safer for you. Got it. All right, that was quite possibly the worst road course configuration I've ever raced on, but I've won. That's a win. Great run. Let's see how much I can get away with here. A lot of curb. Now this is gonna be a fun braking zone. Yeah, just just totally blew that corner. That's a textbook pass there. Good job. You notice Mark Martin right there. Always a gentleman. Let me by without a fight. Alright, no problem. Picked up the win. As you can tell, I got a lot more laps at the Roval type tracks than I do at the purely fictional ones. And there it is. Barely made it. Yeah, you don't want to go top of three through that corner. That was nice. Oh, that was slick. Spitting into that gap. That wasn't quite as slick. All right, here we go. For the lead. Slide job. Contact. That was pretty bad. And there we go. There's a Pocono infield win. This one's over. We're first. This is probably going to be some form of stupid. It just feels really strange running this place backwards, even for a small portion of it. It goes against, like, everything I've ever known. All right. That's one way of doing it. An outside line pass. I don't get that to happen very often. Why is Junior so slow on the straightaway? Drifting. Oh, what is all this black smoke coming from? Somebody's wrecked it big. Who is that? Jerry Nadeau and Bill Elliott. I don't know what they were up to, but there we go. This one's over. We're first. Enjoy that victory lap. I want to go fast. Here we go. 240. Got one outside. Oh, yeah. High pass, buddy. 
244, geez. Took a little bit to get this thing moving, but there ain't much stopping it now. Except for Yarborough and Robbie Gordon. Four wide at almost 240 miles an hour. And for some reason, both Kevin Harvick and me are running 2001 paint schemes. And we just about killed each other. Right, here we go. Nice run. 246. Finally getting up there with an opportunity to share draft for the lead. Yeah, me and Dale Jr., we're going places. Yep, going to have to make the move down the back stretch. Oh, wow. I should have known better than to give Dale Jr. an advantage at a super speedway track. Here we go. Got to make it happen. Made it happen. The car was too tight to actually make the corner. There we go. Finally blew it up. All right, so I've showed off the majority of the novelty stuff that's in this game that you won't see in the career mode. However, there is one more thing I'd like to do. There's a certain infamous lightning challenge that I'd like to beat right here, right now. Okay, everything will be okay. Things will be okay. Everything will be okay. Things will be okay. Let's get in the game and get him the victory. They made this challenge way more complicated than it was for Johnny Benson. Either way, this is going to be a miserable experience. Fuel tank almost empty. Already. And as you can tell, i got to make it quite a ways. Yep, they just passed me both sides. Yeah, 100 rival. Okay, that's going to make this way easier to do. Yep. Okay. Thanks, Kurt. Yeah, that was in every way a bad idea. Mark, you're not allowed to go beneath the white line. Now you should be disqualified. Oh, that was nice. Might have a bit of a chance to just run away for a little bit. And I suck. Outside line's working better for me. Never mind. Why does the back bumper of this car not say Pontiac? It's thoughts like that that get me in trouble. Yeah, that's all I had. Just, you know what? Contact with the 97. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Hold your breath. All right, folks, remember that the best way to solve any problem is with extreme violence. Right, it's the only way. Well, my work here is done. So that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I wanted to just mess around with NASCAR Thunder 2004, familiarize myself with it just a little bit before I head into the whole career mode miniseries. And like I said earlier, I want to get my frustrations out towards the AIs in this game before I have to actually drive conservative and drive smart in the career mode to make my team not go bankrupt. Also, I want to take a moment and thank all of my channel supporters. From both Patreon and YouTube memberships, your support is incredibly appreciated. So the Career Mode mini-series is going to be coming up fairly soon. Also got some other NASCAR gaming videos planned, including the NASCAR Dirt to Daytona video that quite a few people have requested. Also, let me know down in the comments below if you'd ever like to see me do videos of games that are not NASCAR or racing related. 
because I'm not quite as one-dimensional of a person as you may think going off my videos. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun from my perspective. But if you'll excuse me, I got some business to attend to.